In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 habits that I believe you need to adopt if you are going to be a successful girl boss. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erin and this channel is all about how you can overcome your own limitations to build the business and life of your dreams. Just before I did get into today's video, I really just wanted to let you all know that my CEO Clarity course is still open for enrollment, but will be closing on Friday the 30th of June. So there is only a couple of days left if you are looking to enroll in the program. You will have, of course, lifetime access once you do enroll, but the enrollment doors will be closing this Friday. The CEO Clarity course is for anyone who is looking to get clarity around their business idea or even just needs help finding a business idea. But it also teaches you how to empower your mindsets for success, helps you to uncover your personal why, which will be the driving force of your business motivation, and of course set the goals that you need to set you in the right direction. If you did want to enroll in the program, all of the information is in the description box below and do not hesitate to ask me any questions you have in the comments box of course. Okay, so getting into today's video then, as I mentioned, this video is going to be my top 10 girl boss habits that I think you need to adopt if you are going to be a successful girl boss. But of course, being a girl boss does not just mean that you own your own business. Being a girl boss means that you are the boss of your own life and that you are confidently pursuing whatever it is that you desire to achieve, whether it be a career, a creative venture, a business, fitness goals, I don't know what you want to achieve, but these are the top 10 habits that I think you need to have if you're going to boss whatever it is. If you did like this video, then please, I would absolutely love it, appreciate it, thank you the bomb.com if you gave it a big thumbs up, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos every single Tuesday and Friday, all about business, lifestyle, wellness, manifestation, everything you need really just to live an outstanding life. So the first habit that you need to adopt if you're going to be a successful girl boss is to remove negative self-talk. Every single time you say something to yourself like, you can't do this, you can't achieve this, you're not good enough to do this, you're failing, you suck, you are ugly, I don't know, whatever it is that you are saying to yourself, you are imprinting that belief into your subconscious mind and your beliefs are essentially what control your destiny. You need to be wary of the language that you use when you're talking to yourself. I mean, I mean, how badly would you damage your relationship if you walked up to your best friend and said, girl, I, did, I just think you're really ugly. I mean, it would be terrible, of course, but that is what you're saying to yourself. Your best friend likely wouldn't talk to you, or even if she did, you would have this horrible relationship moving forward. So why do you talk to yourself like that? Successful people praise themselves. They love themselves. They talk to themselves with self-love and self-care. I think this habit is one of the most important that you need to adopt if you are going to be a successful girl boss. So whatever type of negative self-talk, start removing it. My next habit you need to adopt as a successful girl boss is that you need to start supporting the people around you. Stop looking at people with envious eyes and stop feeling as though somebody else's journey affects yours because I promise you it doesn't. Support all of the people around you. You are not going to kill your own plants by watering someone else's or whatever that analogy is. Trust me, support the people around you. It is only going to raise your own vibration and help you to achieve your own goals quicker. Which actually feeds into the next point and that is to stop being jealous of other people. Of course, we all have those moments where we are scrolling through social media and I'm like, damn, I wish I was in the Maldives and making a million dollars right now. But you will get there if you work hard and you believe in yourself. But you need to stop looking at other people and being envious of their lives. You need to just be grateful for everything that you have in front of you and your own life. If you do find yourself wallowing in envy of other people, then use the seven second rule. Allow yourself to feel a bit ugh for seven seconds. Pick yourself up, do some gratefuls, remind yourself of what you're grateful for and just move on with your fabulous life. Tip four is to start waking up early. Now, you know that I'm a huge fan of waking up early and I have this morning routine that I do every single morning. But there are some people who say, you know, what if I'm a night owl? What if I'm more productive at night? That is absolutely fine, but you will find a common trend among people who are out there and successfully achieving their dreams, and that is usually that they wake up early. I mean, Eric Thomas wakes up at like 
3 a.m. every single morning. I don't know what the science behind waking up early is. Yes, you get more hours in the day, I guess, and we are, as humans, probably more productive in the morning once we get into the habit of waking up early. But just try at least commit to 30 days of waking up early and 30 days of doing a morning routine. If it's not for you, it's not for you. That's absolutely fine. But I think what you'll find is that you're a lot more productive when you do start waking up early. Tip number five is to set goals. I say to my clients, all the time that you should never be without a goal and I mean never be without a goal I have a goal right now my goal right now is to film an amazing video for you guys but seriously you should be setting goals yearly monthly weekly and even daily goals are what dictate your direction you should always be striving to achieve something whether it is a big long-term goal or whether it is something more immediate and my next tip and I don't know why I did this I think just because this one is so high intense energy is that you need to take action so many people set all these fabulous goals, have all of these fabulous dreams, but the one and most important thing that they neglect to do is take consistent action. Stop talking about what you want to do. Stop visualizing what you want to do if you're not actually going to start taking the steps forward to achieve what you are visualizing or dreaming about. It doesn't matter how small the action is, small consistent steps over time are the ones that are going to get you to the success that you desire in whatever field you are trying to achieve stuff in but just ensure that each and every single day you are at least at least taking one step towards your goals my seventh tip is to ensure that you are taking care of yourself and I'm literally talking taking care of yourself and I'm not just talking about you know empowering your mindset even though you obviously know that I think that's a super important thing I'm literally talking about taking care of yourself are you eating good foods that are going to sustain your energy are you exercising are you sleeping well are you keeping up with your grooming routine you need to increase your self-worth you are an absolute miracle to even be on this planet let alone having the opportunity to achieve fabulous goals but you have to treat yourself like a miracle. This of course involves, as I mentioned, talking positively about yourself, but ensure that you are each and every single day treating yourself with enough respect to take care of yourself in all the areas that I just mentioned. Tip number eight is to challenge yourself. We have all heard the quote that nothing happens from inside your comfort zone and that is absolutely true. If you are staying within your safety square, then I promise you, you are never going to get anywhere in life. If you are trying to achieve some dream fitness body you have to work really hard and push the absolute limits when it comes to your workouts but you need to do the same in business or in life or in relationships or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve push the boundaries as much as you possibly can position yourself in situations that freak the absolute out of you. Yes, I actually swore and you guys know I didn't swear but that's how important it is to step outside your comfort zone because I promise you that is where the most growth happens and growth is what is going to get you to your goals. Tip number nine is to continually learn. You should never not be learning something whether it is reading a book, learning a language, learning about your area of expertise, learning how to do something, learning about other people, learning about the economy. I don't know I could go on for hours about things that you could learn about but you you always need to be learning something, always increasing your wealth of knowledge because knowledge at the end of the day coupled with action is power. And my tip number 10 is to take responsibility for yourself. You need to take responsibility for all of your actions and no longer be a victim of circumstance and, and use excuses to hold you back from what you're trying to achieve in life. Too much of our lives are spent saying, oh, I didn't do this because of this, or I didn't do this because of this, and it's just absolutely no excuse. You have the choice to live your life exactly how you wanna live it. I don't care where you live in the world or what your external environment looks like, like right now, you have the choice of how you're going to perceive that. You have the choice to take action towards your dreams. Yes, some people do have more opportunities than others, and that is absolutely fine, but more people, some people have more opportunities than others and do nothing with it, and some people have no opportunities at all and make millionaires of themselves. Take responsibility for your life. Be the captain of your own ship. And trust me, be liberated by this thought because once you are, you can do anything. 
So those are my top 10 tips for how you can be a successful girl boss in whatever area of your life you are trying to be a girl boss in. As always, if you do have any tips of your own for being a successful girl boss, then please do leave them in the comments below because I love when the conversation continues. And I love hearing the tips from you guys because I often learn something extra myself. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.